Welcome to As Above, So Below. I'm Keisha Lee, the Psychic Yogi. And I'm Sydney Rich. And today it is the full moon, the first one of 2024, in the beautiful, glorious, magnificent sign of Leo. Um, I love that Leo is our first full moon every year. Um, well, depending on how things shift, right? It could have been in Capricorn, whatever. But um, it's such a fun energy and it may not feel so fun for some of us right now in the collective or where you are in your life, but I hope this full moon can shed some light on aspects of yourself that maybe you have forgotten about because we got into this new year and we were being very diligent and we were being very like checking our boxes. And I feel like this energy comes in, especially with Aquarius season to kind of give us some freedom of expression, freedom of being ourselves, just remembering that, yes, life is about getting things done, but it's also about um, having fun. It's also about pleasure and having that sense of joy and happiness and that lighthearted energy that Leo can bring. Leo, you know, yes, it's it's someone that's always... Um, very determined energy. It's not saying that like, oh, this isn't a moon to feel ambitious, but it's also what I'm feeling is we need levity, right? We always are finding that balance. The universe is always consistently balancing our energies. So that's why we go from this super um, stri strict, rigid kind of cardinal Capricorn energy into this fixed energy of Aquarius so that's very weird and quirky and outside the box. And so it's like, it loosens you up, but it allows you to kind of sit in that and whatever that looks like for you. And so with Leo, it, it reminds me of, or it is the sun, right? The sun of the tarot. Um, it's the sun of our, like your personality, right? In your natal chart, even if you're not a Leo, like your sun is your personality. It's how you show up. It's how you exist. It's how you feel. It's how you express yourself. And so Leo energy is just a reminder of connecting back to yourself. I feel in a, in a way that's very heart centered and very honest and very just, um, pure, right? Innocence is connected a lot with Leo energy, like childlike energy. And when we get into the throes and the intricacies of life, especially when we're adulting, we forget that a lot. And we have to be reminded that, okay, there is this other aspect of our humanity that needs just as much attention, just as much light shine on it than um, all of our responsibilities. And so Leo um, I love that we get to kind of like embrace that fun and we can be whoever we want to be. Leo is like the actor of the Zodiac. It rules the fifth house. Like the fifth house is the house of creativity. And so just thinking about like, okay, maybe you were not feeling, you know, super happy and joyful, but we can embody those in our mind, maybe through journaling, maybe even doing an activity that makes us feel like that for a moment. But it's like understanding that we have the ability to kind of, when we're not feeling it, to kind of act as if we are. And that's a lot of like what affirmations are, right? We're acting as if we already are. And that allows us to kind of get into that resonance of that energy that we're desiring to ultimately embody all the time or however we need to kind of like connect with that energy. And so I think Leo, uh, this full moon is helpful for us to kind of, we might be in two different spaces. You might be feeling really embodied of that kind of joyful, empowered, confident energy, or you might still be seeking that and still trying to kind of get to that space but with this energy, I think it allows us to kind of play the, that role, even if it's just for the window that we have with the full moon. Um, and I like that um, Leo is kind of, it's just like, it's just freeing. I just feel very free. Um, obviously my rising is in Leo. And so I vibrate real hardcore with the Leo full moon, I always have. 
Um, and it started for me like Monday. Monday, I was like, ooh, I'm feeling this energy. I was feeling like sassy and, and like myself and like fun. And I wanted to, you know, be out there and be seen. And I was like, wow, I haven't felt like this in a long time. And so it was like this reminder that that person's still within me, right? That's my core. That's my heart. That's who I, my little Sydney is, right? Like I'm always there. And so to have that come through, I feel like this full moon with it being a, an illuminator can show us like those parts of ourselves that maybe we forgot about because maybe things have been difficult or we've been through going through different cycles and and it can feel like we disconnect from aspects of ourselves. But the full moon really gets to shine that light on our fullness and it gives us that kind of like grit that will to be like yes like I can connect back with that energy and I can you know remember that aspect those aspects of myself even if I don't feel it right now I can act as if you know or when I you know that that's coming that I can still kind of pull that energy in when I need it Um, because it's fixed energy right Leo energy is fixed so it's there it's always there for us to tap into and that's another way to look at fixed energy or the qualities of energy, right? If you need to get your butt moving, you're going to tap, you can slide into that cardinal type of energy, right? Where I'm like, okay, I need to get things going. And then if you're like in a rut and you're needing some spark, it's like what energy is grounded there, fixed? It is what it is, regardless of what's going on, you can tap into that. And so that's kind of what this full moon feels like to me is like, even if we, you are not feeling all the Leo type vibes, you can always tap into it. It's always there. It's fixed. It's, and it's the same and it's consistent and it's bright and it's light and it's expansive. And it's also very, it's like colorful, right? You can, it's anything, it's creativity. You can be anything, you can do anything with Leo energy. And that's why um, I really enjoy it because it makes you feel alive. It makes you feel warm when you might not be feeling so warm or when you're feeling confused. It's like a good, it, it's such a fun energy to tap into to kind of just turn your brain off, right? When you're, when we're in our creative energy, we're we're moving from the soul. We're moving from the heart. We're not thinking when you're drawing or when you're journaling or when you're doing whatever creative outlet you may have, DJing, Atria, you know, you're not overly in your head. You're just feeling the vibes and you're feeling into what makes you feel good, right? Leo is very pleasurable. And there's this sense of like, um, romance too right fifth house is about romance and sometimes we just need to romance ourselves you know um it's and I think that's interesting too it's like an aside but with valentine's day everyone's like it's such a weird it's an aquarius season but it's got that opposing leo energy which makes a lot of sense with it being you know collective kind of vibe with another person but also it's like romantic and it's like fun and you get to like create this world of love and however that looks so it's got that like fun aspect to it when we were little we got to make our little valentines for our classmates it's like creative and so romance um is something that we you know that everyone's like romanticizing your life like yeah what how can I make my humdrum life feel more exciting or feel more colorful or feel more luxurious than it might feel right now and it's it's that type of energy with this full moon and with it also with that full moon energy of releasing like what is just getting in the way consciously or subconsciously of you not having fun or finding that pleasure or feeling confident you know that's a way that's something to look at too it's just like where am I getting in my way because I'm not allowing myself to feel creative enough to see myself in a different light or I'm not being creative enough to find a solution for something or I'm feeling very um 
serious and I'm not realizing that like hey like life is here and then it's not so like let's like ease up a bit like it doesn't have to be so intense all the time it's 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 a good moon to really sit and just be like okay where do I need to just like loosen up or release things that are feeling restrictive and that feel um draining right when we don't have energy we're drained and so your solar plexus is connected to leo energy and that's your battery pack right if you don't have your battery fully charged you can't fully do anything you don't feel like doing anything and so where can you charge your energy in things that make you feel good things that make you have fun things that make you feel pleasurable things that make you feel joyful um and it could be as easy as like, I wanted to straighten my hair. It's making me feel better. Literally, it's making me feel better to have my hair straight. So I'm going to do it. And that has brought so much like fun energy into my week that I wasn't even expecting because I realized like I felt restricted or I felt less, you know, sexy or whatever the case may be for me with my hair natural right now so it's like those little things can really like whoop, switch the vibe so I like the full moon I like it I'm digging it I think it's a good one for us to kind of shake up that rigid Capricorn energy and allow ourselves to kind of look towards the future Aquarius and see what is to come and also last thing I'll say why is that pull the cards for the collective reading remember what you were wanting at the 88 portal because it has been six months since that and a lot of times that's how long our manifestations take to manifest like it's not an overnight thing it's not a moon cycle to moon cycle thing like we want it to be especially when we have bigger plans right so really take a look at your 8-8 portal and see what you wrote down, how you were feeling, what you wanted to like call in, because you probably are going to see that more now, especially with a full moon. You can talk, you can see it. So what is the collective message here for Leo full moon, the wolf moon? It is the wolf moon. Native Americans call it the wolf moon because in the cold season, there's more, they're out more in the wilderness or once upon a time. I don't know where wolves live now. Feels like they probably can't be. Well, we have plenty of woods in America that's not occupied by humans. But anywho, it is the wolf moon. Which is also cool because wolves, right? We think of them howling, just like a lion roaring. And so it's like, how do you want to express yourself? How do you want to show up as yourself? How do you want people to be like, look at me? Or just how do you want to look at yourself, right? Like I said, I wanted my hair straight. I didn't want people, I didn't do it for other people. Um, Coolio. So we have... Okay, first of all, I'm looking at all these cards and they all have the same color scheme going on. There's all this orange and yellow going on. So we're in that sacral chakra, the good feels, the pleasurable feels, but then we have that yellow, that solar plexus energy. So that's cool. Um, and then we have a lot of fire here. So the six of cups, I brought up that eight, eight portal. So this is about the past. And even in this card, it's a little boy and his little puppy. And then they grew up to this grown man and this dog, right? So where, what growth, and it's the six of cups, what growth have you seen in yourself over the past six months since the 8-8 portal or since Leo season? What kind of growth have you seen? What changes have you seen in your spirit, right? We have the queen of wands. Wands energy is our spirit. What lights us up? It is fire energy. It is Leo energy. So where has, where have you grown within your, your essence, in yourself? Maybe coming back to yourself. Maybe feeling more like yourself. Maybe if you're not, 
that goes into that acting energy. How can I act as if I feel like this queen of wands energy? I feel empowered. I feel sexy. I feel fun. I feel liberated. I feel um, sh sure of myself and confident, right? And then we have Aries energy with the emperor. This is like taking on that leader, ship role like i'm in control leo is me 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 i'm in control you're in control of your life of how you want to feel of what you want to experience of how you want to show up on how you want to express yourself and seeing like that growth with the six of cups can feel very empowering it can feel like i am moving forward i am still on the Two of Wands is crossing the Queen of Wands. This is about the future. She's literally looking out the window. What's next? What's next? Where am I going? What am I leaving behind and where am I going? And so with this full moon, I think it would be great for um, the collective, all of us in this container, to kind of just sit and see how far we have come and how far we've moved more towards our true self and how we can look at that and feel really confident and proud of ourselves, right? Just recently, someone just broke down self-esteem in the most simple way, which connects directly to Leo energy. It's about pride and pride is good, right? You have to keep it in check and balance just like everything. But if you can't feel pride in self, that's where you leak self-esteem. The more you can say, you know what, I'm proud of what I've accomplished. I'm proud that I made it through that. I'm proud that I didn't give up. I'm proud that I didn't change up who I was from external pressures. I'm proud of my, my journey. I'm proud that I'm here. That is what builds your self-esteem. That is what allows you to continue to go forward. And that is what keeps your fire lit. I like that. That was dope. Thank you for your perspective. Meanwhile, I'm cheesing because I'm like, you're talking about your hair. And I'm like, well, her hair, the gold color and everything, it's definitely giving Leo rising. But then you've got the shirt with the the alien on. And I'm like, that's very Aquarius-like too. So <laughs> I'm just here in my usual attire, my black. But um but yeah, it's funny you mentioned the hair thing. So I was like, yeah, I got my hair braided too a couple of weeks ago, whatever, to do something different. Um, all right. So collective message. Uh, what I'm getting actually when it comes down to this full moon and you had mentioned about being in a fixed sign and Aquarius also being fixed um, and coming from that rigid structure of, Capricorn um this to me though it's kind of like a little bit of a different spin or a different perspective it is kind of like you know where have you been like where can you stand pretty much like not just on business but ten toes down and like what it is that you truly are passionate about and the things that your soul is really yearning for um on a deeper level because sometimes we can set certain intentions for ourselves we can have certain desires or achievements that we want to experience. And we don't always realize, like, for instance, when we get there, we end up feeling a lack of fulfillment still. This is why people end up continuing to chase things or, you know, trying to fill a void, even if it's not necessarily in a form of escapism through, you know, drugs, alcohol, partying, sex, things like that. It could be escapism in, you know, reading books after books after books or, you know, um, acquiring a lot of knowledge or, um, you know, just kind of overdoing it maybe in certain other areas of your life in a way to find fulfillment. And to me, a Leo sun or a Leo full moon is about illuminating where you may not be really feeling fulfilled, you know, but mostly in the heart space. What is it that even though, yeah, I've got these accolades, I've accomplished this, I got this in the bank, I'm, you know, doing this, I'm moving like this, yada, yada, yada. Is it fulfilling? Do you feel happy? Does your soul yearn for more? And in the transformative soul coaching, um, that is pretty much the, the, 
the idea is to get to the root cause of what it is that you're actually yearning for. Um, for myself, this goes into being very Aquarian-like in this energy. Um, I was like, okay, I know I want to be recognized for certain things. I want to be valued. I want to do this and that. And I, what the root, the root cause of me seeking, you know, acknowledgement or, um, you know, certain achievements is really a desire on a soul level for belonging. Because, and then when I, when I thought about that, it was just like my brain went whoosh and opened up. And then all of a sudden I found all these different communities where I was valued and accepted. And I started to feel like, oh, I really actually belong here now. You know, my community, my tribe started to show up. And then I started to have being reflected back to me who I am through the collective, right? And it made me feel more prideful in myself. Uh, more confident in speaking up for myself, expressing myself, um, the things that, you know, have been out of balance. Well, you know, the wheels of karma turn, the wheels of fortune, I guess, in, in tarot will always turn. And so to me, this is an opportunity to really check in and see, are you in alignment with your soul's yearning, your soul's desires, um, and that which really brings fulfillment, okay, to you. Um, let's see, is there anything else? As far as a collective. Um, I think what else is coming up, it feels like it's not for this space. I think it's for the Astro Reiki. Because it feels more meditative. It just feels like a different energy. So I think that's my spiel right there. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're done. I think I'm done um, as far as the channel message for that. Beautiful. That fiery energy. It's in, it's out, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Quick and out quick. <laughs> so thank you guys for listening. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts and watching, if you're watching us on YouTube, remember, if you want to check out the meditations, you can join our Patreon at any point in time. Um, and we have a good time over there. I'm telling y'all, we go, he should be taking us places, okay? <laughs> So we will see you guys um, on the next one, which will be Astro Reiki uh, for Aquarius season. And check you later.